What's going on, peoples? What is up? What is up? Escape211 here, trying something different today. I have tons of people that ask me, uh, A, to stream at different times, so I, I'm trying to do it a little bit early. The family was out, the rest of the family was out, so I was like, hey, I'll try doing a stream. And I also have a ton of people that ask me about early game like decisions, what you should buy, and all different kinds of stuff. So I thought, hey, I'll start a free-to-play account, just do this for fun. We'll see how it goes. I, I have no I have no specific goal for this other than just like doing early game stuff. Um, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm super early with this account. Uh, I try to do it as one where like I started and just did the basics. I've been in for like three days maybe. Um, Cause it shows on the Arach oh, Okay, technically it's day four now, but uh, I've done the Arachno stuff. So I did like the tutorial stuff, a few matches. And it got my XP up just from doing a few days because I was just slowly doing it each day. Um, so, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. It's, like, not not that far along. I also have... Um, I'm trying this with blue stacks, so which I haven't done on a stream. I, I got a new connector for it, so I was all happy to give this a shot. Um, <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, good to see some people here. I know some of you, this isn't going to apply to you, but like I said, you know, I, I wanted to do something different as well as also do a stream that uh, maybe some people could catch. I know a lot of people at different times of the day do not see this. So, yeah, <laughs> most random stream ever. Yeah, that's right. I know. It was definitely a on the whim thing. <coughs> Felt like doing a surprise stream, but also one that was focusing on super early game stuff. So, because uh, there are tons of things that you can do early on that can kind of not screw you up, but make it harder to progress later. So I didn't want people to go doing the stuff that they did early. Papa Koss, what's up, buddy? Thanks so much. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm starting off with the super early stuff. Um, so I figured I'd give advice as well as, like, let people see stuff. Um, and Miss Treble is out right now. She's She even came in. Look at that. Will Sentry show up? I have no idea, guys. I wasn't even trying to, like, do this as, like, hey, everybody play in the match because <coughs> I don't even have custom set up. Um, and this would be brand new. So I, I don't even have, like, other stuff set up. I mean, I could put out this ID. I don't even have it connected to anything. But this is the ID that it is. Uh, so if you want to friend me, you can. I only have 100 slots. So if you guys are here and you want to join me, you can. But again, super early game account. So it's going to be pretty rough for me playing with you guys, but I really don't mind. Of course, playing uh, with you would be fun anyway. Um, yeah, there is light. I know I got light behind me right now. It's crazy because it's not as dark over here. Uh, it's still like 7 p.m., so it's late. But, you know, the sun is up more. So uh, totally unexpected here. But... Um, Anyway, uh, my goal here is to just go over the basics. So when you first start, that's what I do. I do a lot of basic stuff. Uh, and I'll explain the other stuff. You know, obviously you have your progress path. I've already done progress path stuff in the past, so it's not like this is brand new. But when you're going along, um, the, the first thing I usually purchase is the RPG-4 to put on my Paragon. Um, sometimes I get the Thermal Lance 6, but that one's not as crucial. I get the Juggernaut to complete the quest. But most of this other stuff, I, I tend to skip over. I maybe get the long arm eight early, but you don't even need to do that necessarily right away. You can wait a little bit. Um, and then you get into the RPG-6 and uh, Parag or Panther. You definitely want to get the RPG-6 right away for the credits. And Panther, I'm not able to yet. I just don't have the uh, eight coins that they gave me. Um, and I'm not going to connect this to Facebook, so I don't have any of that stuff. Um, <laughs> Master of game don't even have juggernaut. Yeah, you don't have to get juggernaut I just do it because honestly, it's super cheap and you pretty much get all of your resources back as well as a nice chunk of XP So it's nice early on, but you don't have to get it He is actually a really good end game tank probably the best in the game technically um, But yeah, that's uh that's different. So I got to the point where you're right about here, all right? And you'll see that I have enough credits so that I'll be able to get both of these. So I'm going to play a random match, get my javelins, and then maybe be able to get kill shot right after because I haven't even started doing daily stuff for today. It's all brand new. I should probably actually just get my steel crate right now and get that. Um, do that. Get that steel crate, and then maybe I, I can get the javelins right now, which would be nice. Uh, but... I don't know if I'm going to use those right away. 
Um, so Master of Game, quite debatable, right. For the tank thing? Yeah, well, I mean, your three tanks that you have, right? You have Ares, uh, Juggernaut, and then you have um, Brick House. A lot of people don't do Brick House, uh, and I understand that. I do think the immediate value of Ares is there, but I know a lot of people that Endgame will max out their Juggernaut before their Ares. So that is debatable. Um, Ares is great with Disc Launcher 12s, I will say that. That's like probably his best endgame type of stuff. Juggernaut has a lot more flexibility. He can do Disc Launcher 12s really well too, but also like Rocket Mortars and other stuff. So um, yeah, um, but yeah, it, that's a fair point. I, I just tend to think that I see Juggernaut more um, for when people are actually doing like full endgame stuff, but that's super late. So, you know, um, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna just play play a match here. I'm gonna see how I do with my uh, with my setup here. Yes, thank you for saying that. 275 eight coins is definitely the amount that you need for Panther. So I'm not quite there. If I would connect Facebook, I'd pretty much be there. So if you feel like connecting Facebook early, you can get the par the Panther faster than me. I keep wanting to say Paragon. <clears throat> I do have one person over there. We're super early game, so we'll see how this goes. I wonder if they already have a kill shot. Oh, and I didn't use my jabs. Oh, I should have grabbed my jabs. If he uses jabs, he's probably going to beat me now. <laughs> I do think Juggery is better as he has more health than Ares, although he's slower. I think his shield is more beneficial than Ares. Wide shield. Yeah, I, I think that Ares' shield is beneficial uh, for certain points in the game, but end game, I actually think that, um, that Juggernaut's shield is more beneficial. Look at my aiming. I'm terrible. Only hit a couple of those. That was bad. That was bad. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I like I don't mind playing with people for doing this, but I wonder how it's gonna go because I'm I'm just doing the early game stuff. I will say it's kind of nice to do early game just because end game you you have all the mortars to deal with and all the other stuff. Early game in this game is is still really really fun for me. Oh man, that was bad shots. I'm not used to my uh, my hand like this setting up where I'm twisting a mouse. I'm used to using my phone. <laughs> I could tell the difference for sure. All right. Uh, how did that not hit him? All right, it looked like it did. All right, where's the player? I don't. I, if there was a player, maybe there wasn't one. I thought there was. I thought one of those names was a player name, but uh, early game for me, I feel like like in that first few days, um, my best mech and like my only decent one is Paragon, right? That's that's what you start out until you can get Killshot and Panther. I feel like that's the only one that's decent early game. It's not to say that Juggernaut and uh, Lancer are bad, but early game they don't have a whole lot of energy and there's not a whole lot of options of stuff to put on them. So, well that guy's warping. That's great. Yeah, Adrian, I, I think that's a player. Isn't that the name of the dude who is like well known in war about robots? Isn't that like Aaron or Adrian, one of the one of the content guys? I don't think he does it anymore, but he used to. Yeah, the too long didn't read. <laughs> I agree. That's that's generally my thinking too, which is why like I don't invest in um, uh, Juggernaut early game, but late game, I, I think he's a worthy investment. But Aries like. I mean, to, to put all your resources in to get Juggernaut to three star is definitely not worth doing early game. But when you want to build a late game tank, he's a good option. But uh, I, I do always recommend getting Ares just because of the immediate value of a, of a three star tank that you have is pretty darn solid. You have won the match. Adrian Chong, that's who it is. Okay, thanks, guys. Yeah, I didn't know if he still did content. Okay, cool. I know that they have Manny. You know, there's Adrian. Am I saying it right? I don't know if I am. Adrian. Um, I don't know if there's other ones. Yeah, I know he's a well-known guy in the community. He's he's very good. Uh, I saw a few of his videos, but honestly, I didn't play War Robots enough. Oh, it looks like Adrian left. I don't know if that's the real guy or not. Probably not. Probably just some other rando. There we got Division 9. All right, good. So I got to do that for the daily anyway, and it'll open this crate gonna help me finish up my dailies and then i can get my kill shot soon too got my uh blueprints yeah that's the nice thing about this early game because you're able to complete things quickly 
move up the progress path quickly. It's very, um, very dopamine infused, right? Of you feel like you're completing everything. That's that's the whole fun of the early game. That's the idea. <laughs> it's supposed to feel like that. Uh, it's Kaz. Manny is the guy. I'm gonna do. Oh, whoops. I'll pay no attention to this. <laughs> How do I get back? Oh yeah, I have it set up this way. Hang on. You guys didn't see all this. You're seeing all my all the, the behind the curtain stuff. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, um, just because I'm using blue stacks, I full screened it so you don't see all the stuff on the edges. But uh, we're we're gonna get some of these. Yeah, Manny is the main guy right now. Adrian, I thought was like big time pan back in his comeback, or no? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, but he's he's definitely like the most well known. Manny is. Yeah. All right. Uh, Completing all the other basic stuff. We already got kill shot on there. So, um, now I would say typically people are like maybe in day two at around this point if you're playing heavily, uh, but I've been playing more casually. But at this point, um, I can get both the kill shot and the javelin rack four, which I hugely recommend. But this is why you save your credits, right? Um, you don't want to get all that other stuff before or upgrade too much stuff. Um, to make sure that you have enough to be able to get kill shot as soon as he's available and get the javelin fours as soon as they're available that like massively changes your game all right because as soon as those are available that goes in my hangar in place of um uh lancer and then as soon as i'm able to get panther that goes in place of paragon and then i don't know i leave juggernaut in for a little bit but those two like heavily rely on for sure uh Oh, what about Galahad? Sorry. I've played Galahad a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. That's another one that uh, I know a lot of people talk about. Uh, I missed that, but I'm going to switch over to a kill shot here. And, oh yeah, see, Panther is 275. Uh, and again, like, I... Here, we'll, we'll unequip that so that it puts that on right away. Um, even though I just got that, now the next big jump you'll see here is when we get up to pilots which is coming up pretty soon we'll get uh some a coins right here that'll allow us i think to get panther at that point it should but right here this this pilot one is going to be another big one so after we get kill shot and panther um we'll get pilot so i didn't really say this in the beginning i'm now i'm backtracking because i'm doing it all live and i'm thinking about it after the fact so uh, you generally, even though I didn't do it a whole lot here, you want to wait until you have at least Kill Shot or Panther unlocked before you start opening a ton of crates. I was opening a ton uh, once I got Panther unlocked for an event that was going on, uh, but that is a big thing too. You want to save your crates for once those are unlocked in the progress path to make sure you get blueprints for them. Getting blueprints for like your auto cannons and uh, Lancers, and Paragon and all that kind of stuff, you're just going to ditch super soon. So you don't really want to uh, wait to or get the stuff for that. So you want to mostly focus on waiting until you have your progress path open for Kill Shot and Panther. Those are the two big ones. Um, RPG-6 is another good one. I actually have it in here, and I could upgrade it a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade it be just because this is a great weapon to get to like two, maybe three stars. Because um, you'll use that for a little bit. Uh, but aside from that kind of stuff... Most of the other things, you can just wait until you get to that point. Uh, I don't even think, like, getting these shotguns is worth it for me. I'm not going to get the Shotgun 2 or the Shotgun 4. They're not a bad... The Shotgun 4 isn't bad early game, but not good enough for me to justify the A-Coins. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Did you guys send me friend requests? Somebody said, be my friend, Scape. Uh, I don't know if you sent me friend requests for this early game account. Maybe I should look again if people sent me friend requests. Oh, I see. I got a bunch. We're going to have to accept these. Accept, accept. I wish there was an accept all button <laughs> for right now. Just for now. I'll accept you all for right now. Uh, recommended. We won't worry about, but other people that just sent me friend requests. Sure, 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 sure. Um, that's fine. I mean, this is just a, a baby account. But uh, we'll see. Oh, that's just for my name. I haven't changed the name yet. I don't know what to do. I guess I could just do my usual, you know, um, my usual one. All right, we're already getting some. Is Fishboy here? 
Or is this just a, it must be. It can't just be a random person. Oh yeah, look at your, your squad power. <laughs> We're gonna end up hitting like major people that's gonna mess with my uh, my progress here. Hopefully we don't lose the match because we got somebody who's much higher up. Maybe I should have set it up. Uh, we'll just do CPC, fish boy. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're here. I'm assuming you are in the, uh, in the live stream since I got all these new people. Now, we'll try it. We'll try it. I'll try my best to survive a kill shot. Yeah, we, we got a big gap here. <laughs> so gratifying to hear me talk about Jaggy like I did. Yeah, I think he's a great mech. I think he definitely does not get his due because he's so weak early game and people pass over him for um, Ares, especially after the uh, the um, upgrade that Ares got, like the buff and the, you know, semi nerf that Juggernaut got. But quite honestly, it's just, you know, uh, <laughs> notice 100% win rate will go into shambles. Did I have 100% win rate? I didn't even see. I probably did because I haven't really had anything. Let's see how, let's see how bad this is. Oh, okay, that's not terrible. Well, the other guy shot at him too, Fish Boy. So I can't tell if uh, I got the, I, I really got that killer he did. I don't know which one he's going for. Maybe he's going for the yeah guy. Okay, I'll go for this guy. Yeah, my, <laughs> my jabs are not doing a whole lot of damage there. I'm trying. Oh boy, this is going to be bad. I feel like my head is not turning very fast either. Ugh. I don't know if those are curved. Yeah, they did. Okay. This is one thing, too, I miss. I uh, have played a lot with the vertical targeting because I, I find it better for me. But, like, early game like this with the jabs, being able to lock on your target here is huge. Like, massive in terms of being able to, like, set up and curve my shot so that I can angle it. Like, being able to angle way over here after I lock on this guy. Oh, nope, I'm going to hit those. But it's a big deal. So that was a bad example, of course. And now we're losing the lead. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Look at my super weak jabs. They're doing like nothing. This is this is the problem when I end up playing with people, like when I'm trying to baby account. Maybe I should have, you know, not done this, but that's all right. I don't mind about my win rate. It doesn't have to be 100, but I don't have any other good mechs. This is my best one. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's killing me so fast. Just the, the beams are destroying me. All right, uh, yeah, let's, let's break out my Paragon. Rah, look at that. RPG4 is doing nothing, yeah. <laughs> I knew I was gonna create a problem for us. Sorry, Fishbone, I'm trying. I knew it was gonna be a bad idea. You know, I should invite a bunch of you. That's really what it is. So that way you guys can carry instead of it just being one person. I shouldn't have taken an invite. I should be sending them. Oh, I killed a guy. Look at that. One dude. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to look at comments in a minute. Yeah, I got another guy. All right. We're still in this, guys. We're still in this. We just got to mech him out. That's all. <laughs> we can do it. Come on, fish boy. Be my man. Mech these guys out. We still got two and a half minutes. We can do it. Let's keep this win rate. I'm, I'm down to just me and Juggy though, so we're going to have to be careful. Oh no, don't get killed by that guy. Come on. Uh-oh. I'm going to be in trouble here. It's just going to eat away my shield so fast. Two minutes remaining. Oh boy. This is bad. This is bad. I can't I can't even fight a Lancer as a Juggy. This is bad. Poor fish boy. He's trying to protect me. Don't worry about a fish boy. You just kill him. Kill him. You just get us the W. Oh no, we're we're not going to be able to catch up on influence. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to sneak behind enemy lines with the slowest mech possible. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stand up to Zephyrs. That's for sure. Oh, Lilibeth saying, should I get Killshot or Panther? You want to get both. Both. Those are those are both, like, super top-tier mechs for everybody. Like, Killshot is the most important, so get him first. 
And then Panther is right behind that, I would say. For most people, still like top two mechs. All right. Um, kill shot, uh, definitely worth getting with the credits. And then, yeah, we lost it. All right. I'll have to, I'll have to invite you all. Uh, otherwise, this is, this is bad. This is going to happen. No, was that my only loss? I didn't actually look at my account to know if I had a loss beforehand. Um, I think at this point, I probably haven't hit anybody uh, too powerful, but that was a bad decision on my part. But hey, you know what? It's fun. Fun playing with people. Um, here, let's let's go. Let's look at my win rate here or my uh, my stats. Yeah, that was I've only played 10 battles, but that was my only loss. Bummer. But that's OK. Super early game. That makes sense. Um, but we finished uh, all the other important dailies. I could do this, but I don't really need to with anything. I'm going to wait on doing this until I do it with something that's important, like my, um, you know, kill shot or panther. So, oh, good. I finished that one, the spawning paragon. I forgot that I had that. So, yeah. Um, now I should probably look at questions. Uh, I probably should have done that last. It's really hard to do this and look at questions, especially when I don't have uh, um, Miss Treble here with me. And uh, the way I have it set up, it's hard. Like, my mouse is over here. I'm going to have to move this over here to, like, scroll up and down. Um, we'll see. Yeah. So I had... Uh, some people say, like, accept invites. Sorry, Fishboy. I'll, I'll have to um, send invites to people. Just because if I don't... If I do it the other way uh, where you guys invite me, I won't be able to invite a bunch of people. And I need to invite a bunch of people to survive. Otherwise, I'm going to die. I'm gonna die too fast so i'll i'll do um i'll do a team match and, and we'll just do a cpc and i'll invite you guys okay i'm just gonna go i'll just i'll just grab people doesn't matter i'll just pick the first four doesn't matter don't care oh i already reached my limit okay there we go they just disappeared when they go when they went in there um somebody asking if i should get disc eights or arc 10 uh if you're already at the point where you can get arc 10 I don't know where you are in your SP, but you might be at a point where Disc 8 is not going to do as much for you. Disc 8 tends to start falling off, I would say, like 2,500-ish SP. It's always hard to calculate with pilots, but that's like around the area where Disc 8 starts to be less useful. Uh, unless you're going to max them out for like a light mech endgame. Um, or use it like coupled with uh, Disc Launcher 12 or Disc Launcher 16 on like higher end mechs. Um, so... Arc 10 is definitely a great one to get. Um, please help me understand how the power works with pilots. Uh, yeah, so it is... Oh, Papa Koss is with us. I didn't even see who I, I clicked. He's just going to crush everybody. Um, so maybe I should just sit and, and talk like while he does that. He'll just get me a win. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ZB is saying, like, this is going to be painful. Oh, it's not going to be painful. Well, it's going to be painful for the other side. Um... Yeah, so with pilots, I don't exactly know how it, it breaks down for the... Um, Buzzle, I think, might be a real player. Sorry, Buzzle. We got a 6K or with us. Uh, I don't exactly know how it's going to break down for um, uh, pilots. You already have shotgun eights. The guy who was asking for the help. That's uh, That was Lucifer. Um, so you probably don't even need my help, do you? When it comes to that stuff. All right, I'm going to go down this way. Just because I'm not going to be able to survive there. So I'll... Oops. All right, good. Somebody else got him. I'm going to have to play the... the Down here, I think. If I'm, if I'm even going to have anything to kill. Hey. Oh, I almost got a kill. Um, the uh, the pilots... I don't really know exactly how to, to get points for... Or, like, uh, explain the point system for it. Just because I don't exactly know myself how it works in terms of adding to your SP. Um... But they are hugely important for how you uh, play. Oops, sorry, Popcast. Uh, for uh, your stats and stuff like that. Like, the game has massively changed since Pilots. There's such a big deal. Oh, gosh. Got myself uh, hit, by, <laughs> hit by Carbine 12. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> With my little, uh, my little kill shot at two star is not going to stand up too well to Carbine 12s. Getting murdered. Oh, goodness. I didn't even see him over there. That was my bad. I was looking at the other one that was in front of me. I got tunnel vision on that one. Dumb, dumb. All right. Maybe I'll just die and get totally destroyed and then uh, 
let everybody else beat me. I mean, my point for doing this was to show you guys how I play super early game, but it's going to be harder if I play with all of you, but honestly, I don't care. It's all right. <laughs> um, but I don't know what you mean, Lucifer. You were asking about, like, how do, how do I uh, calculate the um, uh, pilot stuff. Yeah, it's... It's, uh, I don't really know how you, you would, I would say, calculate SP, if that's what you're after. Um, or if you just want to know how useful, like, the point system and stuff is. If you're asking about how do you know, like, upgrades and, like, how much stuff you get, um, I do have a document where I lay out, like, the upgrade process and everything like that. It's a Google Doc. I think it might actually be in the description on this video. If not, it's on other videos for sure. Um that has a lot more detail on that for like this oh come on it's like hey i got one kill all right for this and uh like um all of the implants and stuff like that too so it's designed to help for all of that oh i was just trying to sneak kills from people that's all <laughs> i'm just glad i'm surviving with a mech that's all for this kind of stuff I mean, look at that, look at that hefty damage for my one-star RPG-6. It's crushing it. <laughs> Be amazing if I hit an MVP slot. I'm like, whoa! Yeah. Of course, Papa Koss. You should be up on the top, buddy. Good job. Dude, Papa Koss has an all-gold hanger. So amazing. So amazing. Like, the level of commitment to do those. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's insane. But impressive. I wonder if he has it set up right now. I'm going to have to peek at it. Oops. Now let's see here. He's got to be up on the top. Yep. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't have it set up right now. Of course. As I said, he doesn't have it set up right now. But he has enough to do an all, all gold hanger. Uh, it's pretty insane. Uh, so many people sent me invites. I'm going to try to take them. We'll see. I honestly don't know how much I'm going to be playing this account, guys. But... Hey, for the live stream, for fun right now, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I didn't even keep a track of who, uh... <laughs> Bob Goss, give me a second. I didn't keep track of who even got to play on that one, but... Um... Yeah, so, uh... I don't know if there was... If you guys have early game questions, I'll try to answer them. I know my early game stuff right now is probably going to be different or hindered based on how I'm playing with other people. But we're getting close to the point where I can get Panther, and that'll be good right here. And then after that, I want to be, again, be keeping all of my credits so that I can get a couple pilots. I mean, right away, I want to be able to get Crow and Samson just because I'm going to be using RPGs on my uh, RPG 6s on my Panther and then the Javelins on my kill shot here for a while. And those are two really, really useful ones to have early on uh, for the pilots, for sure. Um, at least to get to, like, three, maybe four stars. And afterwards, you just want to focus on the epic ones. Or legendary ones, if you can get them. Well, there's only one legendary one. Oh, I didn't even do this. All right, I'll do my one my one pull to get extra stuff. Oh, my account is free to play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Papa Koss, I will check it out. Oh, nice. I got a good skin. I love this skin, even though I'm not really using Paragon that much anymore, and I'll be switching over to Panther soon. Why not? I got it. Oh, Circuitry. Nice. I like the Circuitry skins, even though I don't really use them. If I can get the kill shot one, that'll be sweet. All right, Papa. Let's check it. Let's let's show off here. He's got a video on this, too. You guys can check it out, where he was just finishing it up. But he's got an all-gold hanger, man. Look at that. Insane. Man. That's crazy. Ah, uh, Sentry, dude, you didn't even have to be here. This was totally a surprise live. I just wanted to mess around uh, with a brand new baby account and just, uh, you know, maybe give early game advice. But instead, I'm going to end up playing with people who have way more power than me. And, uh, you know, that's probably all that's going to happen. <laughs> but hey, that's all right. All right, let's put the skin on this guy just because it's fun. Um... And can I, do I have stuff? Yeah, let's let's upgrade this a little bit again, just because this is the, this is the one thing, sorry, Fishboy, that I think, again, worth upgrading. This might be the first thing I take up to two stars to finish that other uh, quest requirement, just because for a while, um, the RPG-6s, the Javelins are going to be mainstays for that early game on Panther and Killshot. Um, we're getting close to where, yeah, we'll get those A-coins here. 
And then I don't know if before I end up getting done with the stream, we'll hit pilots, but we'll see. Uh, oh, people are asking what my ID is. Yeah, this is my ID. Maybe I should, um, I can't easily post this in chat because I have a different computer set up than the, uh, than this, but I can, I can post it in here. Let me copy it down. Uh, three, five, zero, two, five, zero, four, five, two, five, zero, two, five, zero, four, five. All right. If you guys want my ID. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. Now I'm going to get a million requests. Guys, I'll, I'll be the one who sends them just so that we can get a bunch of people in. Because if I take them directly from you guys, we'll only get one person with us. Um, so it makes more sense for me to set them up, right? Yeah, I, I respect the hardcore dedication too. I, I don't know who played, Papa. I already had you with me. And you're just going to crush all of us. So <laughs> I think, I think uh, these people I didn't have before, but we'll see. We'll grab some of these other ones. Um, this is like road to getting a uh, kill shot and, um, Panther. And then hopefully, you know, getting the, um, pilots and then javelin sixes. That's all like what's important. What if skate already has a hundred has a hundred. What? I don't know what that meant. What does that mean, ZBR? Did I miss something? <laughs> Maybe I did. All right. Oh, I think Scrapper is a person. We got one Three, person. Sorry, Scrapper. Two, one, go. I feel like I should do some that are by myself just so people get the idea of how it is when you're early game versus mostly AI, but one other player maybe. How does the stream look for you guys? Does it look clean? On one of my screens, it looks like it's a little choppy. And I could probably mess with that, but I don't know. I'm going to shoot at Roger. Oh my gosh, did like nothing to him. I'm mostly going to have to be the capping master and, and stay out of combat here. Roger, Roger, I should be able to hit him. Only a little bit, okay. Or maybe I did hit him mostly, it just was back shots, but he's just so beefy, so not going to do much. You guys are going to have to get Roger Roger. I can't do commands on this. I don't have it set up on my thing. Otherwise, I'd tell you guys to go after Roger Roger. I'll try to shoot him, but I'm not going to be able to do much damage. Oh, I got the kill, though. Sorry, I took that from you, buddy. You did most of the damage. <laughs> oh, we got one guy over there. All right, let's go get bowl cut. Otherwise, we're going to fall behind. Okay, good. They got him. Heavy in the center. The heavy. He is the heavy. All right, there's, yep, I was going to say there's a Zephyr over here, which I am not going to be able to handle. Uh, yeah, I was like, I can't even hit him from here. I'm going to have to pull back this way. He's going to come over here. Oh, I thought I could make it. Yeah. Totally destroyed me. Oh, that must be an AI then. Okay. I did not remember Scrapper was an AI name. Guys, we're going to have to pick it up here. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is bad. So I'm in a bad spot. I can't, I was like, I can't even show any part of me to either of those guys, but I wanted to kill that one dude. This is the problem when you're this er, when you're trying to play this early game against guys who uh, have like the, the end game stuff. I just get shredded so fast from the long range stuff like uh, long arms and um, uh, you know, Gauss rifles and everything. All that just kills me so fast can't keep up yeah and they're all over here you guys are gonna have to capture points for those that are hearing me playing with me this is also why there's tons of people who are earlier game that want to play with me and I try to be like it might not be a good idea because you end up in these kind of situations where, uh, you know, you have you have this mixture of peoples. And uh, it's hard for the other people who are more powerful to try and catch up or take the, the lead on that stuff as much as they try to, you know? I don't know if you guys can capture them fast enough time. Yeah, it looks like it's just you here, TDK. Sorry. That's the hard part of this. 
Maybe I should uh, try to only use people that are closer to my power level in here. Otherwise, you'll <laughs> we'll end up losing a bunch of matches. Yeah. There's going to be a new tank mech? I don't know. The one that um, I, I totally am speculating on, I don't know if it's going to be a tank one, but... Um, yeah. All right. All right, so this, this will help us out. And then I have the Play 9 games, which will also help us out for clearing stuff. The weeklies are really nice to help you clear um, your, uh, your stuff in the progress path, which is really good. Oh, and this early game too, they, on, on a lot of these, they have send referral links, um, which you don't really have to do. Like if I just click this, the referral link will come up and then I just click off of it. You know, that's it. That's all I got to do. Um, and, uh, then this should, uh, fulfill itself shortly. All right. So we just went, <laughs> I got demoted because we lost a couple. Maybe I should play a couple either solo or try to pick you guys that are, are lower so we don't end up with stuff that's way too hard for us to complete. Um, but uh, I don't, I, a division doesn't really matter to me anyway, though, so it's not a big deal. But um, so I really just want to start completing stuff so I can get to pilots soon. But... The hard part is you want to go up division so that it resets. Now, this is something that I don't know everybody knows, but when you move up a division, it actually resets your um, battle XP that you get. So every day you will get, I think it's 500 total XP from your daily quests here. All of your dailies is about 500, if I remember correctly. Oh, it just finished our, um, our uh, uh, Arachnos quest there. Nice. That's what we were looking for. So we got up to day four done. Got another crate, which is good too. It'll help us if it shows the crate. Maybe it won't. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's not going to show it. Um, but the idea here, though, is like you you want to have... Um, now I forgot what my train of thought was. You want to make sure you have... Uh, you know, XP that you could do daily. So... You have your daily XP that you get, which is about 500. And then per division, or per day, I should say, you get um, 500 XP per battle. So, like, after you get 500 XP in a day, you won't get any more XP in a battle for that day. You have to wait for the next day to be able to get more XP. However, the only way to reset that is to go up in division. So, right now, it won't work for me going from division 10 to 9, since I was just in 9. But when I go from 9 to 8... It will reset that 500 XP battle, um, or 500 battle XP, so that I can do it as well as it will reset my combat point limit. So I'll be able to get XP for battles for the progress path, as well as more for crates. Um, it resets both of those for you. Yep. All right. So I know you guys are sending me more. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. We'll see. I'll see who I can take. But I'm going to see if I can do one that's, that's mostly lower players here to start just so that maybe we can get something that's a little closer to mine um some of you guys even though you said you're 600 that's still twice mine right now <laughs> so even though 600 is far less that's still twice what i have uh. look at that oh my gosh i already got i already got my list full up here i wish i could flip it the other way to show me the lowest first all right so this one is low. We'll get, we'll get a thousand. Try to stay like a thousand or below. Yeah, a lot of you guys are far more. I, 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 I know you're higher, Keel. I played one with you already. <laughs> uh, Arman. We'll get both of these guys because they're also division like four and six. So the lower divisions will probably be good. Um, although I did get Jimmy Jones. I think I was trying to get somebody else. So he has, he set his low just so he could play, but yeah, look at his stuff. So we'll see. Uh, you'll probably mess this up here, buddy. I know you want to play, but if you end up playing and we get super high bots and you're the only one with only one bot in there, then we're probably going to lose the match. So it's actually not going to help us. <laughs> um, 
What's the lowest power player you'll take? I feel like I want to do a thousand or less, so it's about the same. I'm sorry, Jimmy Jones. Not that I don't want to play with you. It's just I, I think this will this will be hard. I actually should do some tourney, and then maybe if I do tourney, I'll have some people who are better. Yeah, see, the same thing is going to be with uh, this guy. Um, so let me see if I can grab it based on division here. Uh, we'll go with Hard Banana. I don't think I played with him yet. Keel isn't that... He's, he's Division 2, but... Yeah, I mean, Division 2 is still pretty high. Yeah, on our TDK. It's tough, man. When you have mixed squads, this is what always happens to me. When I do mixed squads with people who want to play with me during the day, and I have my, like, 5K hanger, and they're using, like, a 1,000 or less... It's tough, man. It is tough. And it, it's just because the AI is ramped up to my level and it's almost like you're you're playing with less of a player. Like you, like you just don't have um, a teammate. Or you get put up against people. That happens to me sometimes. Where it's like me and a really weak player and we hit like three or four people, you know, at once. And that's usually just an automatic loss. So, I don't know. It's always tough. All right. Or we're we getting some people here. I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll see. Maybe they're really powerful. Maybe they're on par with us. We'll see. But we'll try. No harm in trying. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be daring and try to go to center just because it's important to get center. I don't know where the other players are. Let's see if this actually damage. Okay. Decent damage. It's, it's, kind of, it's a little low, but it's not bad. I don't know what that guy's shooting. I thought I heard, uh... Oh, yeah, he's got the pilot, like the uh, Maverick there, so that's going to be bad. Oh, gosh. Okay, good. You killed him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I saw Jeffus or something over there. There's another you that was over there. Let's go up here. Yep. There's you can do it. Although he's got the Nova pilot, which means he's got some pretty beefy stuff. That's probably going to kill me really easily. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be daring and go in. Okay. He used most of his fire already. That's good. We'll get him. Good, good, good. Let's try to sneak this fast, or at least switch it over. Oh, we can shoot. Oh, no, he's too far away. I was thinking we could shoot at Jeffus. Oh, gosh, that's a bad idea. I don't want to be in the way of that. Dave the Chipmunk. So that's that's an AI, but it's an AI that's using a shadow with... Must be uh, six level six or whatever that is. The... Um, uh, uh, Gauss Rifles, probably Gauss Rifle 6. Maybe a 6 and a 10, I don't know. But I hope not. That's a little too powerful for me. So right here is a decent spot that I like to sit sometimes to wait till some people get close to me if I'm using the javelins like this. Jeffsis, I got some shots on you, but I can't kill you from here. Dave, I can kill you as long as you don't put your shield up. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, crap. I slid too far forward. I don't want to be in a bad position, but. Jeff says. We got this one, guys. Nice. You have won the match. <clears throat> Look at it. It's already getting dark. You see it? It's starting to get dark over here. The darkness is taking over. Nice job, guys. That wasn't bad. I survived. My jabs, usually at this level, jabs are, are mostly killing um, most guys or, like, doing some decent damage aside from uh, the uh, the bigger targets. But at this point, with, with random people, it's going to be tricky for sure. All right, so we got the 10s. Good weapon to get, but I'm not going to get it right now because I don't really have stuff to put it in. This one, I know a lot of people like to get it early game. If you're someone that spends a little or you have the eight coins to get it, it's not bad, but it's only really useful early game. But it's still powerful early game, so it has some benefits. It's just not one I would recommend getting because you won't upgrade it. Um, certainly not for those who are not spending money. If you're free to play, do not get the Rocket Mortar 8s. It's a lot of eight coins to put into something that you're probably not going to upgrade or it's not worth upgrading. So, all right, let's go get this one other weekly, and maybe that will be enough to get our Paragon. Oh, not quite. I mean, I keep saying Paragon. I mean Panther. All right, so we're still Division 9. I mean, Division 10. We'll grab a few more peoples. 
I'll try to play with you guys. I'll try. I'll try. Some people are saying they have a little over... Yeah, I'll try to get some of the ones that are lesser. It's just... It's tough, man. It's tough. All right, so this one's a great one. Juggernaut, also a good one. Kill shot, Juggernaut. You guys are good ones for me to use. And... Uh, uh, what was the other one? There was... Yeah. I think this will be good, although kill shot is, is a little high in the... Um, in the SP, but it's Division 8, so I think it'll probably work. That's the other thing I have to think about. The early game, you do have to worry about or think about Division based on what you'll fight um, as long as, or as, as well as your um, SP. This guy uh, might have bought stuff, but he's probably still in the same like uh, XP ratio as all of us. So no, no problem there. I don't mind that. All right, we'll go with this though. Will you do a few more higher powered matches? This is honor. Oh, Jimmy Jones. I was really just trying to. I actually don't have my account set up on this um, on this uh, device, so I can't easily do it with this. It's set up on my phone. Uh, but I was really just trying to do for early game stuff, and of course, everyone wants to play. And now, <laughs> this is a, a spur of the moment thing I was trying to do because um, I honestly was thinking about the idea of it as well as just like trying to use uh, my my new connection with my laptop to do streams and stuff like that from this with um, with Bluestacks. Um, so hopefully the stream and everything looks good. All right. I didn't even see if we were hitting players. I think we're just hitting AI. Okay, Secret Fire's trying to sneak up back here. I'm gonna have to secretly get him. Oh gosh, he backed up as I was doing it. Smart. AI. Oh gosh, what was that? That was crazy. Dang it, now I'm gonna die. Oh, come on. He warped on me. Ah, uh, so annoying. All right. This is the problem too, when you only have like one or two good mechs. Actually, I can usually last the whole match with just, uh, with just one mech, but with the way this is right now, it's very difficult to. So. This is not indicative to early game. <laughs> Unless you guys play with really powerful friends. Maybe you do. I don't know. The power of lag. I know. And I actually feel like it happens a little more on uh, blue stacks, Just for certain aspects of it. Like, blue stacks actually runs really well. But with this game, it has some weird glitchy things that don't happen to me on the phone. Um, and I, I don't know if that's blue stacks or the game. It might be, it could be either one, really. Nice, nice. Good, good. No, don't shoot me. Secret fire. Go for somebody else. I'm gonna die. Don't try to kill me. You gotta get Miss Pencil. Uh-oh. It's gonna dash me. Pencil's gonna dash me. I'm just trying to guard the our our stuff back here. From all of the AI. Dang it, I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't know if somebody was already there, so I couldn't see the back of it. So I wanted to go to the back to make sure no one was there. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, good, we got that. So I'm gonna go to the center here for now. Oh gosh, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna get destroyed there. Nothing I could do. <laughs> ah. All right, now at least I can look at chat for a few minutes. Gosh, this is so hard to watch chat when I'm trying to do this. Um, so we have... Uh, Juggernaut. Yeah, I like that name. That was fun. Um, I had to change my hanger. Now I have a little over a thousand power. Yeah, but is that it? Yeah, you probably do. A lot of people probably do, but you know, also probably still are in Division 1. Um, how do you find and join clans? Sick of being the punching dummy for clans. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, clans usually will um, post about themselves in uh, the official Discord. So there is the official Discord. It's probably in my description for uh, Mech Arena. 
and in there there should be like a posting about like promoting your clan i don't know exactly what it's called maybe somebody else does but uh that would be one where you can do that um good game century were you in that one i don't know what what your name is century on this maybe you're this one that's like a robot i don't know because i know you said you had your baby account all right uh I am enjoying the game, but I don't want to bring that up right now. Okay, so I got another one, which is good. Uh, finished this weekly, so this should give us enough A coins to be able to get Panther. Big deal. There we go. And now that we can, we'll get Panther. We'll swap that out right in here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, yes. Got to get the Panther. And actually, I would say uh, Paragon... Might actually be a decent one to put in instead of Juggernaut right now. Just because I have more energy with it. So it's not bad. It also, like, once you upgrade... Um, who is it there? Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do that. Because then I can put the um, the both uh, RPG-6s on, uh, on uh, Panther, which is what we want to do. So we'll put this on you for now. Just as a, the placeholder one. Keeps throwing me all these ads. All right. So now we got like the next upgrade that we had, all right? So the next big thing is gonna be pilots. So really it's just like when you start, you get RPG four. That's like the only thing I say you really need to get. Juggernaut is debatable just for completing that quest and getting more XP. Um, long arm eight is a good one to get, but you don't need to get it right now. You definitely wanna get both of these. Maybe you can get this one sooner if you connect your Facebook. Um, and then you definitely wanna get these two. This is what you're mostly saving credits for. At this point, when you're here, at like this point when you get to about 2000 xp that's when i would say like okay to start mass opening crates before that you mostly want to hang on to them because you want to make sure you're getting the stuff for your good guys here all right uh then once you get this you'll get panther if you don't spend it otherwise sorry guys uh and then pilots yeah so this is where you save your other credits for unless you want to do upgrading for these guys this is another big one you want to be able to upgrade these guys so um because you want to get uh kill shot two three star soon for when the um when the javelin sixes are available all right that's a big one and then you'll want to get panther up to i just got him so i have like nothing for him you want to get him up to three star so that you have 16 energy for either the long arm eights or more importantly the um missile rack eights when they're available all right so that's like all the early game stuff you want to focus on. Like just upgrading these two mechs, making sure, well, making sure you get them, making sure you get RPG sixes, making sure you get the Javelin sixes, then upgrading these two mechs, but otherwise saving your resources for when you get pilots and then, you know, doing the upgrades for these two mechs. That's like all you need to focus on early game. That's it. All right. Um, maybe I should do tourney. I have not done any tourney yet with this setup. What is today? Acropolis indoor. Uh, you know, that's... That's not bad. It's just not great for what I have because I don't have a, a great setup for Panther. This this actually is a good example for what I would say. When you come to a map like this and you still need to do daily tourney, um, this might be worth getting. And I think I might do it because it's only 5,000. Um, I, I think for this specific um, tourney, this is worth getting. Or like for one that's indoor when you have javelins. It might be worth getting the um, uh, this one, the four or the six, if they're available super early like this. I would not do any investing into it. It's just to have something that's decent for the tourney right now. All right. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of tourney just because uh, I, I should still get some XP from battle. And I've already completed all of my other daily stuff. So, um, well, the rank up I didn't. But um, yeah, I could still do this in tourney. Um, and I want to be able to place in tourney so I can get some more resources and get some more keys because I have not done any tourney yet this week with this new account. So we'll do some of that. Um, but I'll do that with all of you. So I'm not playing solo. All right. Um, some people were asking me what happened to my other account. Nothing happened to it. My other account is totally fine. Uh, and I plan to use that one for other stuff. I'm going to try to grab other people. I don't know if they've actually played with me yet uh so i'm trying to grab some people who haven't played i don't know who's played or who hasn't but um <clears throat> rehab just said my account is 3k 
free to play. Now I want to create another account because I don't rank up my jug Juggernaut. Now I regret it. Juggernaut, like I've said before, is good for late game, but doing the rank up as you go is going to be hard to do. That's going to be tough to do. It's going to be tough to keep up with the cost of that. So I actually think you're fine. If you haven't upgraded him at this point, it's not bad. I'm going to grab Armin. I think you already played, but you're closer to our division rank. Um, all right, let's try Crystal again because you didn't get to play. So we'll see if you're able to join us for that one. Oh, no cheese for you. What do you think about a flamethrower weapon? It would be interesting to see. Um, you know, I, I think it would honestly play very similar to the Arc Turret, but maybe like between the Arc Turret and the um, shotgun, which would be kind of interesting. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to do Turny, guys. I hope that's okay. I'm sorry I didn't switch it. Is Turny okay for all of you? Yeah, I should ask. Turny okay? Here we go. If it'll let me type. Okay, here we go. Crystal is saying, yep, yeah, okay. Crystal Lamp. I'm in. Sweet, sweet. All right, we'll give it a shot. I'm pretty weak here. We'll go. We'll, we'll give it a go. <laughs> you said I haven't played in over two years. What's new? A lot is new, buddy. A lot has changed in the game since you played two years ago. Uh, hello, Monon. Um, definitely need a flamethrower weapon. That would be interesting. I, I don't know exactly how good it will be or... Maybe that, I don't know if that's good or bad, but a flamethrower would be, yeah, interesting to do. Um, how do you add someone? Oh, for the game, um, you have to go into your top center where it shows the icon of little pictures when you're in your hangar. It looks like three little heads, that icon, and then you'll be able to add people there. We do have one person, Coor. So for this map, early game, I feel like my best option is to start with Panther, to go down here, to drop the fence, and to try to shoot all the enemies that are here. Depends on if I'll actually get kills. I got a support there. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that where they drop those, which is good. That's good. I'm going to, since it's crowded down there, I'm actually going to go to the side. But going down that way is probably one of the best ways when you're fighting AI, just to make sure that you're covered. Although this is probably a bad way to go if I have to deal with an AI that has those. I'm going to get destroyed by that. I'm not really going to be able to do much damage to those. So this is probably not good. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much over here. Unfortunately. Oh, thank you. Good shield, good shield. Although mine wasn't good. There we go. Come on, guy. Can't see you from over there. Here we go. We got another dude that's over here, cracked. Yeah, hang on, guys. I'm coming. Here we go. Oops. Oh, stay right on the middle there. Good. Oh, man, that guy's warping again. It's all right. We got him. Imagine if it takes it takes who Panther to take out one area. Yeah, well, it would in this case just because, uh, well, I, I mean, if they're playing at my level, uh, depending on who I'm actually fighting. Maybe I should have changed the um, title of this to playing with people and OP bots. I don't know. <laughs> oh, somebody asking about Arachnos? I see Papa say something about the, the weak turret. Yeah, it is really weak. It's crazy how, like, when I was on the test server, and I think Negative Man did a video about this, actually, where he, he added the best implants that you could for that. Uh, wow, they didn't get any kills. Good job, guys. Um, using the best implants that you can for uh, that. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. Sorry. It messed up my uh, stuff. All right. I'm going to go back to the side here again. Too many people piled up there. Um, and he used the best implants you can for Arachnos and for Arachnos' ability. And his ability was just on par with everything. It was not OP like other stuff is. It just became an on par item. It's crazy how crappy that ability is that like once you use all of the implants, it just becomes like basic, you know? There's nothing special about it. Sorry, Coor. Oh, I almost got you. Dang it, ran out of, ran out of juice. You're lucky with my weak uh, one star stuff here 
Okay, let's uh, try to get some of these guys here. Be able to get that guy. Good, good. You guys got him. Nice. Oh, shields down. I wish there was a way that you could tell how uh, how much time somebody else's panther shield has. Like if you end up walking into it, you don't know how long it's been up for. Somebody can finish off that Ares. I'm out of juice. Hey, I got a kill. Oh, nope. And I'm almost kind of death. All right, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Somebody get that dude. Can't kill him. He's coming after me. Okay, good. Good job, guys. This is a bad position to be in. Except when you guys can kill him. It's good. All right. There is one guy behind me. Three, and I should probably two, get done soon. One. Oh. All right. Nice job, guys. All right. I'm going to try doing one solo. Just to show how I do stuff, uh, you know, for if you're if you're a newer player. Yeah, 11 assists. I'm not getting many kills this way. Not that it matters. I don't mind. Uh, but. All right. So I got on the board, but I got in a terrible spot because I wasn't able to do much. I'm going to play one by myself here just to try it. Um Marcus asked, how do you get a monster kill? You have to get four kills very quickly together. That's how you get a monster kill. I got 17 assists. Oh, were you in that one century? <laughs> you got more than I did. Look at that. We, we probably had a couple other people that were too powerful. So we had to be in assists. Um, this would actually be a good case, and I didn't even use it. I don't even have it unlocked to use the thermal lances. So when you're playing with other people who are higher powered... You'll get a lot of assists, but you'll actually be, you know, at least helpful to your team in a good way. All right. I got no people in this one. I was kind of hoping I had one person um, of similar power level. But again, yeah, we want to drop down into the center, even though the AI is probably going to do it with me. Put the fence up and then try to take some shots on guys if they drop down. And you can see that my, uh, my weapon is doing a lot more damage here. But they just don't want to come down here. They're scared of me. <laughs> So this is usually the, the home base early game on a map like this. You want to be down here so that you can um, get all the guys that the AI especially will filter down like this. I actually have an old video that talks about this where I used to do it um, with the missile racks. But this also works this early when you don't have missile racks yet. But you don't want to necessarily get in the courtyard too much in the center. That's going to be asking for death. But like on the sides here and then up in the balconies are good spots um, where you can cover yourself but still be in the action for you know this is kind of a centralized area that can do really well probably should have reloaded yeah i definitely should have my bad yep somebody's already talking about how to get the monster kill thanks paradox Every single, I gotta say Paradox, every single time I read your name, I think of Paradot. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what Steven Universe is, if you watch that show, but my kids were obsessed with that show when it was out. So, I, I, I know the characters well from that show. <laughs> Alright. Oop. Let's back off, since I knew they were going to be dropping in. Be able to kill this guy in a second. Or smurf, if I have to. Oh, I almost got the godlike! So close! Alright, let's pull back out the panther here. Don't, don't push me, guys. I can tell you're going to do it, AI. It's what you do, you push people. They're bullies, those AI. Come on now. Dang it. I thought I would get the uh, area damage to get the explosive shot on that guy. 
I know I'm pushing like right into him, which may or may not be a bad idea. All right, but now I'm up in the balcony, and you'll you'll get similar aspect where you can see everything. Um, this is probably a better command position than where I was before, but I just couldn't get up there, and I needed to get to cover. All right, I probably don't need to use this on this guy, but oh gosh, well and I guess I do because I didn't kill him. Now I gotta wait for the reload while he comes back to try and hit me. Hit me. Lots of Lancers coming after me right now. Although they're actually not even looking at me, they're looking at other guys. It's made it easier to kill them. But that's early game AI, you know? They, they sometimes come after me, sometimes they don't. Usually they do. Alright, oh, let's back up. Let's back up, back up. Okay. This is probably a bad position too, because they're coming down. Oh, I thought that guy was dead. Oh my gosh, and now I have to waste extra bullets on him. All right, I'm gonna put that up for my teammate. Make sure he's covered. Dang it, got a shield up. I thought it was gonna be recharged, so. Again, we got to that point of almost got the godlike one away each time. It's a lot harder to get godlikes early on if you, uh, depending on the enemies that spawn against you to be able to get them, but you know. But that's usually like what it's like for me early game or closer to. It's just harder when everybody's way higher power than me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I, I guess I'm not gonna because I'm not getting as much uh, battle XP as I thought I would. Although that's not terrible. But I'm I'm not gonna be able to get enough to get to pilots. That was my goal here for this video. Um, but I wanted to just try something different. I probably should go, guys. I. You know, I kind of just tried this on a whim, and uh, as much as I want to do more of it, um, you know, my family is back, and I should go hang out with them for now. But, you know, maybe I'll do more of this in the future, maybe with this free-to-play account. Um, if you guys like that idea, and you want to try that, I know I already friended a bunch of you. Some of you are probably like, yeah, do more of it, because, you know, I just friended you. Um, so I'll try to, to play it when I can. Uh, I already have a lot of time for my main account that I put into, but I wanted to just try this and, and try it with my new, uh, you know, laptop stream setup just for fun. And now I'm getting a ton of invites from everybody. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, take the other ones that I didn't get yet from the stream and I could put the ID up if you didn't get it. Uh, I'll put it up on screen again. If you want to send me one, that's fine. It's right there. Actually, you can see it. Well, you can't when other people are sending me the invites. Let's do it from here. There you go. Now you can see it, even though all the other people are there. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. That was probably a shorter stream. Actually, it was uh, about similar to how I usually do for stream, but it was it was just something different. I wanted to just try something fun as well as, like, try the early game. Um, but, hey, I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. Um, and, you know, if you enjoy this and want me to do more of these kind of early game ones with this baby one, I can certainly try that. But, um yeah, I hope it also is nice for some of you that don't usually hit my stream otherwise who uh, usually can't make it just because I do it so late. So I try to do it a little earlier today when I had the opportunity and we'll see if I can do that more often. But um, either, either way, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, and yeah, if you guys had other questions, especially about the early game, you want to leave below that I didn't get. There's probably a lot that I missed. Feel free to do that in the comments below and I will try to answer them then. All right. Hope you all have a good day or a good night, whatever it is for you. And as we always say, I'm still getting a million invites. As we always say, we'll see you out there on the battlefield. See you guys.